Hello, Knights of North Castle. I'm Mr. Steve, and this is Miss Lisa. And this week we are going to do science, and today is science day one. Our science project today is building straw rockets. So, in your VBS supply bag, you need to look for this bag, labeled science day one. You're also going to need your tape, your scissors, and your crayons or markers today. So make sure you get those too. Find a place you can spread out your materials and get ready to make your rockets with us. Today you heard the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. We are going to make three straw rockets, one for each of the characters, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Just as they escaped the fiery furnace, our straw rockets will project our Bible characters through the air. All right, guys, let's get ready and make our rockets. Mr. Steve, would you help us make a rocket too? Yes. Great. Okay, so out of your bag, you want to take your sheet of paper, and I'm going to cut mine in half so Mr. Steve can have some, but you don't need to do that. Here you go, Mr. Steve, and here's some scissors for you. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is make sure you have the short side up, and then you're going to need to get some crayons or a marker, and we're going to draw a line across the top of the paper. So I'll pick my color. Here we go, Mr. Steve. And we're going to draw a line about three fingers wide, just like that, across the top of your paper. So I'll draw it so you can see it, just like that. Okay. And then you're going to get your scissors and cut that line. Okay, so you should have a strip of paper about this wide, this long. Now you're going to take your straw. Here's a straw for you, Mr. Steve. You. And go ahead and get your tape ready because you're going to need this in just a moment. You're going to take your paper strip and wrap it loosely around the straw. Just go around and around and around. Not too tight, just nice and loose. Keep going around and around and around, all the way to the end. It should kind of look like that when you're done. Working, Mr. Steve? I'm going to do mine a little bit tighter. Just all right. When you get it rolled the way you want it, you're going to take some tape, and you can take your straw off, keep it rolled up, and you want to tape this end closed. So it might take a couple of pieces. You can just wrap your piece of tape all the way around so that you have a little tube. And I'm going to use two strips on mine, so it's okay if you need more than one. Make sure it's closed all the way around. Just like that. So you have a little tube. Then you're going to take the top, squeeze it down a little bit, and fold it over. So it's going to look something like that. And again, you're going to tape that down. Thank you. Our story today has been about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So you might want to work on making three of these little rockets. And you could even use your crayons or markers to write an A, an S, and an M on each of your rockets. I have an S. An S, okay. I'll put an M and I'll make an A also. So here's the science behind the straw rocket. You can see here is our straw, and you're going to blow air through one end of the straw, and it's going to shoot the rocket out the other end on a trajectory something like this. Here's the angle that you're going to use for that. To measure the distance, or to calculate the distance, you can use the formula D equals RT, where D is the distance, and R is the rate in meters, and T is the time in seconds. So distance equals the rate times the time. Okay guys, your straw rockets should now look something like this. Let's try out our three projectiles, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh. All right. Meshach went the furthest, it looks, in our, All in our right, trial Meshach. here. You can have your own contest at home and see which rocket wins.
<laughs> hey kids, Mr. Steve is not a real scientist. Do not try this at home. God rescued Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from a fiery furnace, so I'm pretty sure they can handle the fire of a rocket which has just a little more power than our straw rockets did. What do you think is going to happen? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Unfortunately, the rocket ship containing Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was not recovered. We saw a parachute but the rocket was last seen drifting towards the dairy.